Good morning, guys. Today, we're starting our new playlist, which we're going to be titling RV Modification. We're also looking at uh, a way to be able to create a better flow for our sewage line. So, why don't you guys come on along with us and see what we do. Let's get started. This is what the first piece that I put together looks like, and it's not very pretty, but uh, it works. So we're going to put another one together, and I've cut the notch on both pieces down the middle. And this is a sewer grade pipe, so it's not schedule heavy schedule, but it's heavy. It's rigid enough to where it won't give, and uh, that's the key point to some of that that you can order online. Is they're too flimsy. Mark the the sewer sewer pipe on each side because if you don't mark it your pipes have a tendency to twist as you cut them and we're going to take a, a, a jigsaw and we're going to cut down the middle to cut this pipe in half if you notice i used wing nuts on the back side of here so you can hand tighten it but you still have to have a screwdriver to do the top part but for right now we're going to cut this in half all right so we've done the top part and uh, you can see it's giving in on itself a little bit which is fine and so what we're going to do now is turn it over and i used this mark knowing it's straight to be able to get it as close as i could to uh directly in half so we'll give it a try. we've got two pieces of pipe here that are now what we're going to do is we're going to measure how far we have the expansion points from the end and i want to make sure they'll slide inside each other so it doesn't take any more room than it needs to when we try to store it. Well, we try to make it as good as you can, so. All right, so we're gonna make a groove out of that. One thing I learned from doing the last one is it helps if you stabilize your pipes together. And I'm actually going to take a longer screw that I used last time, go into the table and stabilize this. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna start down here. I'm going to drill through both of them. Get the right tool. We made it. Two more sets with grooves in them. And we're going to take this piece that has our chain that hooks into it and we're going to come in here and we're going to put another section only one right now what i've decided to use is this then i use a large galvanized washer here to make up for the sloppiness of my saw cutting so what we're going to do, we're going to come here, then bring this through those two, and we'll bring it down to that, and then we're going to take another galvanized, Oop, you know what, I did it backwards, sorry, folks, backwards, 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 well, this way, that, we're going to have to something to make it more rigid. Once again, that's the problem that we have with the ones you're seeing available commercially. I'm thinking of as a way that I can make an adjustable arm to go through that bottom slot. It goes through like that. And then we take this and we... Well, I can see how that may work as long as you've got a straight run. The interesting thing I have is I have a Y, because I have two gray water tanks. So your Y would be this way, and with that Y, it's going to have to be a support. So we'll start with the sawzall and, and cutting through here, or maybe we can do it with this. We'll try it and see what it does. Not quite long enough. Fill a hole through there. Yeah. 
And we're going to secure this thing where I can use a sawzall to cut that and still be safe. tanks it sort of complicates the things to be able to have yourself set up permanently or for a two or three week period so I'll step over here and show you what I've done this line comes from from the main black water tank and the uh, gray water tank and that goes from the shower and it connects there up through the bottom of the of the motor and this is a five foot section got it to a Y this is the gray water tank that comes from the kitchen and it comes down through the floor and here and this is a 10 foot section that uh, i've expanded out to go through with to fit in there used a four inch um, sewer pipe that this this sewer pipe fits into very well this white is a thin wall it's not heavy stage pvc it, it flexes into each other this is the fittings for the same pipe that i'm able to squeeze this pipe together and fit it down into the, for more more firm grip for this support. What I use it as an old tripod. I drilled holes in it to be able to create an adjustable support to support the weight. Also what I've done is I've used S hooks here and I drilled holes in the pipe that allow you to be able to run chains up and be able to securely mount this quickly to be able to make sure that, that it, it will all fit together. I took three foot sections because I wanted to be able to have the the trough that I, the, that I support with. But if you look right here, you can see what I've done. And this is the main connection of the, of the pipes. I've used a uh, series of, of bolts with wing nuts to be able to loosen and slide them together to be able to get it. The right. All of these will slide back in and be shorter. I sort of made it to the worst case scenario because most of our, our uh, camping spots that we're at are within three or four feet of the width of the this side of the trailer going to the, or not trailer, but the motorhome going to the uh, to the uh, sewage piece. Now, whether it's where it's at laterally, this uh, the we have a 15 foot going hose going here, 10 and a five. We should be able to meet, get, get to the actual dump station. That's what we've done. We haven't tested it yet. I feel pretty secure that with the chains and with the supports and the ability, I'm able to to put pretty good heavy weight on this that we should get a good drain. It took a few hours to be able to cut all the pipe and groove it together. Now these are both, this and that are both a y, uh, a y that I had to cut. The best support I could find with the length was the actual Y that came up this way and then I cut it off. Because the things I've seen failures are these sag and they wobble too much. So that's why I put the T stand on the bottom to keep it from wobbling. Uh, we'll be anxious to try it out as we go on our next trip. Well, thank you very much. And uh, if you've got any recommendations or any comments or you have experiences that would help, please drop it in the comments section and we'll reply. Thank you. Okay, this is our first camping trip. We've had an opportunity to try to set up the, the uh, sewer situation. The Y did not work right for the PVC Y, so I'm gonna have to get a new, new configuration for that. The hangers from the motorhome work fine. Uh, going to have to be prepared for a dual sewer hookup. I'm going to have to get another head. Other than that, maybe another five foot length to be able to have some alternate pieces. That's it for, the, for now. We'll tell you how that works better next time. Cookie here and we're going to be heading out on RV adventures soon with Mima and Peepaw. So come on back and go with us.